Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing well. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi, so this is the second part of this uh, OOP view here. And in this one, I'm going to explain about this abstraction. So, abstraction means that uh, we are hiding the internet working principle. So, let's say if I have a class module. So, I can insert this class module by right click on my mouse and then class module or I can go into this insert and then class module and then I can just change this name. So, project explorer, sorry, property window, let's say account. So, let's say this is a bank account. So, we can have some field that private account folder name and string private parent balance as double so I am using rubber duck to generate this getter and setter so tools sorry, refactor encapsulate field select all values so we do have this getter and setter now let's say i do have two method here to public method with draw money and requested amount let's say double sorry public sum and we do have another one public sub deposit money and deposited amount as double so we do have these two particular public shop where we can withdraw money from our account balance and we can deposit money to our account and this is our current balance amount okay? and I can have the private initial deposit or something like that so we can just use this current balance instead of this initial now let's say i want to use this class so i'll insert one more general module now let's rename this Uh, private sub or something like this operation now we can create an object of this account class so dim parent account as account so we need to instance an object of this class so we do this by using this new keyword new and then account so this is just a blueprint of this object okay? so as you see in this section we can we see this class so this account is actually a class and this object is an instance of this class so that means this one is an object of this account class anyway now we can put some amount or some data like current amount dot account folder name let's say put my name oh. and then current account dot it's a current balance so I put let's say 25,000 now you can say that current amount dot withdraw money okay let's say and I can put like okay I want to withdraw 30,000 now this is this is the operation I'm trying to do now if I go into this with the money I don't have any code in this section but now let's say private shop so I do have one shop check requested amount Check if requested amount 
is with drawable okay now I can just check this that if this requested amount if requested amount is greater than or equal you know current balance so that is this dot current balance minus let's say I do have one condition that we need to have at least 1000 initial balance or minimum 1000 balance so profit on stand minimum balance as double let's say let's say this is that minimum condition so my requested balance need to be less than or equal this operation right then we can withdraw money right print it is with drawable else let's say this these are only condition but you can add more condition not withdrawable now you can show this as a message box also that it's not withdrawable so you can just say with travel or uh, let's say you don't have enough money need to withdraw and then requested amount okay so now we can just call this one that check if current balance is withdrawable or not okay now let's say it's withdrawable let's say i do have another condition that private shop check if requested amount is not cross daily limit let's say i do have one more condition that you cannot withdraw more than 20 no, let's say 20000 so i can put one more constant that private constant daily with draw limit as double let's say 20,000 now you cannot request an amount which cross this amount right so if requested amount is greater than this daily withdraw limit then message box your requested amount is larger than daily limit and then, okay and i can say exit sub i can just make them as function instead of sub as boolean this one also will be as boolean now this one check if requested so this will be false and by default it's true let's say in this section it is withdrawal right so check so you can just put true otherwise this is going to be false now i can just say okay if requested amount then i get up okay i don't want to proceed or check further right i'll save check not cross daily limit requested amount then i get up else 
Now let's say debug.print proceed to with draw money and if now as you can see we do have this check right so check if requested amount is withdrawable or uh, like uh, it doesn't cross uh, you know that our current balance so I can just change this name so check if requested amount is less than current balance okay so we can check that if requested amount less than current balance then we can have another check check if requested amount is not cross daily limit and we can have some more validation if you want to withdraw money then we are going to do some more validation but <coughs> in this outer class or demo class you don't know about that one okay now if i run this so let's run this now it's saying that you don't have enough money to withdraw 30 percent okay so now your requested amount is larger than daily okay let's see it should not proceed to that one let's see Now, once I click on this, ah, false. So, basically, to say not, not, it's not. Any, so you don't have enough money to withdraw 30 percent okay so let's say i put that okay i don't want to extract 30 thousand and to extract 24 thousand okay so this is valid data because <coughs> i do have 25 thousand so 1000 uh, need to be in account so that is 24 thousand so this is okay so your requested amount is larger than daily limit so the daily limit is 20 thousand now if i put this okay instead of 24,000 put 19,000 and then if I run this again then it's saying that proceed to withdraw money okay so it's saying proceed to withdraw money that means we can now withdraw this amount from our account but as you can see you don't know what kind of validation or what kind of you know internal details it is being used to proceed this uh, withdraw money so <clears throat> that is what this abstraction means that you are hiding all the internal working principle that how these things works okay? so you just you just need to know that okay if, if you can withdraw that money or not or if you try to withdraw the money so if it's failed then what's the reason so you just need to know that that is stuff and all the details or all the implementation is in this particular class so that is what this abstraction uh, it's all about so thank you for watching uh, stay tuned for the next part of this polymorphism have a good day